Hi, I'm Anne. Many leaders that I work with have more work than hours in the day. If they were given an extra one or two hours of work time a day, they could easily fill it. And we know that's not going to happen. And even if it did, it wouldn't be that healthy. This video is going to help you be more effective and more efficient. At the end of the video and the exercises, you will have a tool and process for improving your performance, your productivity, and your impact. So let's get started. What I'd like you to do is get a blank piece of paper and put two lines on it to make a quadrant. So one horizontal line along the middle and a vertical line down the center. So you've got four somewhat equal quadrants, doesn't have to be exact. We're going to touch on each of those quadrants today in this video. What I'd like you to do is think about how do you spend your time at work? You could be thinking of that for today, for an average week, for an average month. Some people find it best to kind of think about this week. How am I spending my time this week at work? And the first quadrant we're going to focus on is the upper right quadrant. What I'm going to have you do in this first exercise is to think about the tasks and time that you spend on work that is really important. The strategic stuff, the things that you really should be doing around planning and long-term thinking. If you're struggling with figuring out what you would put in that quadrant in terms of tasks that you are doing around it, step back for a minute and get bigger picture. What are your annual objectives? What are you required to deliver for your business or for the organization? And then put those tasks that relate to those strategic things in the quadrant in that upper right. So these are the things you know you really should be doing. They're the things that only you can do. You've got the experience, you've got the expertise, and you've got the mandate essentially to be doing those things. So pause the video and in the upper right quadrant, write down all the tasks that you should and probably are doing to some degree around your strategic priorities and the things that are important. Now we're going to move on to a second quadrant, and that's the upper left quadrant. What I want you to do on this quadrant is think of all those things that you're working on, those things that are urgent to do and highly important. So they might be subsets of what you've just written down. It might be stuff for a meeting that's coming up that's important for you that you need to prepare for. It might be an urgent inquiry from someone, whether that's an email or a telephone call. So in this next quadrant for the next exercise, what I'm going to ask you to write down are all the tasks and time that you're spending on highly important and urgent things. So go ahead and pause the video now to do that. We're now going to move on to our third quadrant, and that's the lower left quadrant. I want you to think about all the things that are on your plate right now that are urgent. Again, it might be emails, it might be phone calls people have made, Slack messages or text messages that people have sent you. However, this quadrant's different because these are the things that aren't that important. They might be important to the organization, yet they're not that important for your priorities and responsibilities. And we are all doing things in our day that are highly urgent because of someone else's priority. So I want you to take some time now on the next reflection and write down in that lower left quadrant 
all the things and tasks that you are doing that are really other people's priorities, hopefully still important to the company, that are taking your time. Go ahead, pause the video, and fill in that lower left quadrant. Now I'd like you to think about that last quadrant on your sheet. It should be the lower right one. These are all the things that aren't that important and certainly aren't that urgent. Now, your first thought might be, Anne, I don't do things that aren't important and aren't urgent. Well, interestingly, when you analyze your day, there's probably a lot of stuff in there that's not that important and not that urgent. So, Reflect on your days, look at your schedule, think about the last few days you've had at work, and what are the things that have crept in to your brain space, your energy, or your time that haven't been that important and haven't been that urgent, and write them down in that fourth quadrant. Go ahead, pause the video now to do that. What you've just done is completed a grid called the Eisenhower Matrix. It was designed by the US President Eisenhower, and it is a matrix for prioritization. The idea is that you spend more time and brain power, actually, on the things that are important and not urgent, that upper right-hand quadrant. It's often where leaders spend the least amount of time. This is the area where you do your strategic thinking, planning out those big projects and big goals, breaking them into sub goals, where you think about what's possible, what's next, what needs to be done to deliver on those objectives. That's where you want to be scheduling time into your diary to do those things. And often our diaries get booked with other people's priorities and other people's meetings rather than time carved out for us to work on the important things. The next quadrant we did, that upper left one, the idea of this quadrant is to reduce things. Reduce the time that you spend in crisis mode, in highly urgent. Now the theory is if you spend more time in the first quadrant, you'll spend less time here because you've planned it out, You've started working on it. You've got it in play. It doesn't become a last minute rush urgently needing to be done. The third quadrant, that lower left quadrant, are things we can delegate. They're important to the business, yet they're not important for you to be doing. Delegate them to your team, including the decision making. Empower your team members to do those things that are important to the organization that you don't need to be doing. And then that last quadrant, that one that we don't really want to admit to, the not important, not urgent quadrant, everyone has a few things in there. Email actually creates that. People have the ability to copy you in on things that aren't really important for you to be copied in on, and you spend time reading those emails. Sometimes it's ticking boxes on a process or filling in a form for someone else's priority or process. What I say to these is declutter them, get rid of them, go back to the root cause and stop them from happening. Challenge, is this really a requirement for the organization to be doing? Is this a requirement for me to be doing? And get rid of it. There's a lot of things now that people have noticed they are doing that aren't important, that don't make a difference. And so use this opportunity to challenge what the organization is doing to stop doing unproductive things. Now, it wouldn't be a video for me if it didn't have a challenge. So here's your challenge. For the next two weeks, I want you to plan your time, your effort, and your diary 
using the Eisenhower matrix. Take some time and proactively plan your calendar and time to do more of the things in that first quadrant, to delegate more, to reduce crisis, and to eliminate unnecessary work. Notice what impact it has on your productivity. Notice the impact it might have on your schedule itself. And notice what you learn about yourself and how in control you are of your time and priorities versus being at the mercy of other people's. Good luck with that. Check out the other leadership videos from Lightning Smart as well. And thank you for your time and effort today.